Hello everybody, Superior Stacker here guys. Today we're going to be talking about how much gold to be in the top 1%. Well, first of all, you know gold has been money for as long as humanity has been needing a, a need. And we have always needed a need, either goods, food, shelter, you name it. So before we get started guys, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It would help others find the channel and get to see these videos. And you have that power by pressing that subscribe button and that like button. That really helps the the channel be exposed out there so i would really appreciate it if you please hit that subscribe and like button thank you well guys let's get to it as you all know um gold is probably the king of precious metals it's it's the one that everybody associates wealth with in, in one way or another since the beginning of time so uh, it's definitely a hedge against inflation, and it's a wealth preservation. It will definitely preserve your wealth. So, um, so I, I searched, if you search in the last five years, guys, um, gold has definitely been on, on an uptrend. It's from 2020, or 2020, it was $1,600 an ounce. Hit or miss, you know, gold on a daily goes up and down, or goes up or down either way it's never the same price for too long you know in the markets and in 2024 as you all know we have hit new records and right now it's two thousand five hundred eighty four dollars so if you look in the five years from 1600 all the way up to 2584 definitely an uptrend so it keeps going up so as of now we have apparently mined 212 582 tons of gold so that is a lot of gold of course these are all estimates it's no actual way of finding out the exact number but it's the best estimate that they could do in various um if you do a lot of searches that's what you'll come close to either 208 212 hit or miss but according to the world gold council that's what they are estimating uh they're thinking about 96 tons in jewelry um and for bars and coins, you're looking at 47 and a half tons. And so that accounts for about 22%. And then central banks, you're looking at about 17, 20%. So in fact, uh, central banks around the world, they hold about one fifth of the gold. So that is a lot of gold if you think about it, guys. Um, so if you were to put that 212,000 tons um 212 582 tons into um troy ounces you're looking roughly about 6.8 billion troy ounces which is a lot and um if you were to give each person a little bit of gold living person right now we are close to well we're actually 8 billion in something let's just say 8 billion people so each person would roughly get about 24 grams of gold, which is 0 0.772 or 0 0.7 of an ounce per person, which is, hey, a little bit of gold for everybody. But let's be honest, not everybody would be able to get that amount of gold. As you all know, there are some people that have a lot more money. Some people are higher up in that bracket. And in fact, um, looking at, the, at some of the research done, I've looked at the Credit Suisse report about wealth holdings in the world. And, you know, they'll, if you do that research yourself, go online, you'll see a kind of a pyramid. And then the very top of the pyramid, that would be the, the one percenters, uh, 1.2 to be exact. Uh, those are the people that have either 1 million or above in their wealth. So they are rich people. For sure, no doubt about it. Some more than others. Some are millionaires. Some are multimillionaires, and some are billionaires. We still don't have any trillionaires, but I'm sure it's coming. Though at the rate we're going, some people are getting very rich, and others are maintaining or going down, unfortunately. So that they hold about forty-seven point eight of the world's entire wealth, which is a lot for the amount of people which is close to 62 and a half million people in that bracket, which is pretty incredible. It's not that many people when you think about it compared to the world's population. And uh, the other coming right after that would be the 11.8%. They hold about 100,000 US dollars to a million. So 
Guys, that's just that's just a big difference right there of what the 1%, well, I call them 1%, but 1.2% holds in the wealth around the world. So, to be in that top 1%, you really either have to be very inherited or born into a rich family or actually just successful one way or another because like Dave Ramsey says, most of his millionaires he's interviewed a lot of them, very few have just inherited. The majority are investment and work and just having smart, um, being smart with your money, honestly, when it comes down to it. So a lot of people do not, when you go out there and ask them about gold, they don't even know. They, they are not either educated or they don't care to care or they just have believed the lie of fiat currency is the way to go. And don't get me wrong, fiat currency is it moves things, but the real true money is gold. There's no denying about it. It's been for thousands and thousands of years. It's been true money. It's what has moved uh, empires and honestly destroyed empires because of it. One way or another, shape or form, it molded the world. And even to this day, even the ultra rich or, or rich people, they are being told to have 5 or 10% in their portfolio holding of gold and, you know, precious metals. So... It is very sad that you, there's this one guy that I've seen many videos, and I'm sure you have too, that he goes up, I think it's in New York in the streets, and he asks people, hey, guess the price of this, or or hey, would you be interested in this? And most people just either walk away, I don't know if it's because if it's New York, or people just don't know. They just don't know the true value, or even come close to, hey, if I have 10 ounces of gold, how much do you think it is? Guess it right, and I'll give you a good amount of precious metals for free. A lot of people don't really know, and that is pretty sad. But as long as we're collecting, little by little, we're, I believe we are on the right track. We are doing uh, wealth preservations for ourselves, and we are having an inheritance, hopefully for our family members, that they would love to, to one day obtain. And honestly, we need to educate them so they just don't go and turn around when we're gone and sell it like if it was nothing like oh it's just free money for but we need to, for them to actually know the true wealth and the true benefit of having precious metals especially gold so to be in that one top percenters um, you honestly would need about five kilograms of gold roughly that's 160 ounces troy ounces of of gold which is honestly a lot of money if you think about it, guys, that's close to $412,000. It's, you know, that's a lot of money. So not a lot of us would actually fall into that category. There probably is some of you guys out there that have collected for the last 20, 30 years when gold was a lot less. And honestly, you probably still sacrifice to get that gold and to hold it and, and not sell it even when rough times did come up. So... To be in that number 1% of, of gold holders, you would need 5 kilograms or 160 ounces. That is a lot of gold. But no worries. Even if we have a little bit of fractional and we continue adding to our stack, we're doing the right thing in my, in my opinion. We are slowly but surely doing our thing. Because how can you compare somebody who's make, uh, you know a multimillionaire to somebody who's a normal individual, a nine to five or whatever shift you have, but you, you get what I'm saying. It's never good to compare, but it's good to kind of know these things. And at the same time, like I said, guys, a lot of people out there in the streets don't even know the true value of gold. And honestly, that's just very sad. So there you guys have it. That's what it takes roughly to be in the top 1% of gold holders in the world. And either it be jewelry, gold nuggets, uh, sovereign uh, nation coins or just regular bullion we're doing it guys so keep on stacking and keep on doing what you can well you guys take care and i will see you on the next one